welcome to West Side Girl Reacts. Hi guys, West Side Girl Kim here. That she is. I don't know which way I'm pointing to you. It's like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> we are both remote, obviously, not sitting next to each other. Right. Bear with us, guys. We'll be back together next week. We will. And so we are going to listen to, I know you've heard this song. You may not have heard it all the way through. Mm -hmm. We are going to listen to Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. The name sounds familiar for sure. You will know the guitar lick. Okay. You will know the very first two notes of this song. You'll be, I, I will actually stop it after the first two notes to see if you've heard this. Okay. Because they say you can tell certain songs in one note. And I can. They, they've done it because it gets ingrained in you. Mm -hmm. Even though there's only, what, eight notes? But the way it's played, <laughs> you can just you tell know the sound. Yeah. Off the, top, off the top. So we are going to go. Can't, we can't go a Rocktober without listening to Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. Oh, this song, this brings back, oh, this is straight into basic training for me. And we we'll play this song. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, basic training. Uh, when we got our radios and, oh, my God, Guns N' Roses came on. It was like, oh, this is so awesome. <laughs> I mean, you had no radio, no nothing for six weeks till they finally gave you some freedoms in yeah. basic training. Yeah. Oh, six weeks in the last two weeks, they let up on you. And then that was only on a Saturday or Sunday you could listen to the radio. Oof. Sounds yeah. tough. Real tough. Real strict. It was. Yeah, it was. Which explains yeah. you all the way. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we are going to listen to Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. I'm going to stop it after the first two notes to see if you've heard this before. Okay. So listen carefully, and then we'll play for a minute and get your first reaction. This is uh, kind of power ballad-ish. Also, that we did some power ballads. Mm -hmm. it, this, this, they run the whole gamut of everything. There's lots of different uh, movements to this piece of music, mm -hmm. which is surprisingly complex for these four knuckleheads. Okay. And Guns N' Roses is at this time, I think it may be on a five piece at this time. We have Axl Rose as our lead singer mm -hmm. and Slash as the guitar player. And as they say, the other guys. The other so. guys. Slash <laughs> sounds familiar. Yeah, Slash is, as soon as you see Slash, you've seen him in commercials. Okay. He's in a very popular commercial now. Like crazy hair. Crazy hair, top hat. Now you do me a He's an, I, and again, I'm going to have to say, remember the guy in Slade way back in the early 80s wore a top hat? And you'll notice that at, uh, Slash wears a top hat in this video. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Listen carefully. Make sure I am recording. I am good. Everything's set. Here we go. Recognize it? There was only one second. That's all I want. <laughs> Jesus. You got to get One more time. Well, okay, this time I'll let it play through.
on Sweet Child of Mine? Um, I do feel like I've heard it. I can't, re I can't like pinpoint. Geico commercial. That was easy. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to a guy cool. Yeah, when they're they're the <laughs> kids auditioning people for their rock band and they have people waiting and then it's so easy to save money. It's like having Slash play for your garage band. <laughs> nah, I don't remember that. I do not remember that. But um even though it's not as annoying as like that guitar could be in the beginning, is actually what I like though. Like it's uh, like it just pulls you in. And then at, it first, does. at first it wasn't just like, I was like, eh, I wasn't too, too much feeling like the sound of like when he started um, singing or whatever. But then I'm like, no, nah, I like it. So I think what, well, and then I know, no, now when I, while the song was playing, I did recognize like the lyrics and stuff from somewhere. So yeah, they're, they're good lyrics too. And I like saying Guns N' Roses really wasn't a hair metal band. Like, Poison or Motley Crue was because they're kind of more grubby looking, even mm -hmm. though they did have big hair at the time. Mm -hmm. But I think this is like, and Metallica a little bit sometimes they would be called a hair metal band. And Guns N' Roses is right in between, let's say, Motley Crue, mm -hmm. Complete Hair Metal, Guns N' Roses, and then Metallica. And they're, they're on the dirtier side. And this, I think, is leading into what becomes grunge music at the time this is just my take on it and we haven't gotten you to grunge yet because so, i'm that way so guns this isn't there another band called guns and roses too because i know this is this is the only band called guns and roses this is might have been like a song or something from like one of the bands like from like early 90s because that that name sounds so familiar yeah, they were a combination of two groups uh, from, again, the Los Angeles metal scene. Mm -hmm. I think the Stone Roses and L.A. Guns and came together to form Guns N' Roses. Okay. Uh, like I said, I, I like to credit Guns N' Roses for starting a drift over into the Seattle grunge sound. Okay. Okay. But let's go on with the song.
Child of mine, Guns and Roses. I'm not gonna lie, I gotta give it to them because I was it was hard to feel it at first. Like I like different elements of it when they first said it started, and then yeah. Once it got like once it kept going, it kept going, it kept going. I'm like, it just get better and better. Like I really like that. Like I like that whole interlude, the where do we go now part. I really dig that part. Yes, that I was, always forget that's in this song. Yes, that was like that's a favorite of mine. Obviously, like the guitars, like the solos, when they come in, like it just makes it so much better. It just makes the song so much better. So I'm I'm really digging that. Yeah. Playlist. I might actually put that in the playlist. Ooh. I might actually put that in the playlist. <laughs> That's shocking. That's shocking for me. All right. And what are we going to rate it? I feel it coming. <laughs> I'm about to get, I know you're going to say it. I'm going to have to get him a 9.5. 9.5? Oh, you're going to take away a 0. 0.5 because Axel Rose ties his shirt t-shirt up like an eighth grade girl? <laughs> it took me a minute. It took me a minute, but... Nah, that was a good ass song. Like that was <laughs> that was a, a great song. I would definitely get into the okay, you get it. Okay, you can say to you, but yeah. okay, we'll give them a 10. We'll get it with 10. I I really like that. Yeah. They have also have a killer power ballad too. That yeah. straight up power ballad, eight minutes of a power ballad, but we'll get there. It's a long listen. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that, was, that was really good. I gotta get into them because I was unsure. I didn't know. I didn't know if I was going to like it, but it just, that, that kept getting better and better. All right. I think that closes out Rocktober with a couple of tens, Slade <laughs> and Guns N' Roses. Yeah. I'm but you hear how Axel, with his voice, is copying Dio from mm -hmm. the earlier song that we heard. And how mm -hmm. now we also, now we get into those operatic uh metal guys and i don't know any off the top of my head but i know they're out there and we'll get to a couple of them mm -hmm. but the real like guys that love like holding a note for like two minutes without <laughs> breathing because <laughs> there's this one that covers a pogue song mm -hmm. and he just does like a heavy metal version of it and he's just holding this note forever well i gotta hear that though yeah I definitely how see how that, see how that sounds I'm saying it a little bit, hearing it a little bit, but we ain't go too deep, too deep into it. I don't think. <clears throat> All right, but uh, thank you for joining us, and this has been a fun time as always. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, get that dreaded algorithm to get us to 500, so we could have members. Maybe. Yes, we're trying to get monetized there too. Trying to, trying to. Although that puts commercials in this. Hey, buy you YouTube Premium. Not a commercial every once in yeah. a while. Right. <laughs> but we do love you all and rock on. Thanks for tuning in. All right. And peace.